Good morning, and welcome to the Grandview Hospice Service of Remembrance. This past year, we have all experienced significant loss. We've lost the ability to connect in person with friends, with family. We've lost jobs, we've missed special events and milestones such as graduations, weddings, and vacations. And today we are here to acknowledge another loss, the loss of a loved one. No matter when we lose a loved one, we grieve this loss. Getting through grief is work and it's hard. Usually we do that work with others, but social distancing has taken our opportunity to honor our loved ones in person. So we hope today's service will help us all work through these losses with fond memories and love and make the work of grieving a little easier. Candles bring light into our darkness. Memories of our loved ones bring light into our pain. We light these candles in honor of our loved ones who have died. As we recall, may the remembrance of their life and love brighten our work. The first candle represents our grief. The pain of losing them is intense. It reminds us of the death of our love for them. The second candle represents our courage to confront our sorrow, to comfort each other, and to change our lives. The third candle is lit in their memory. The times we have laughed, the times we cried, the times we were angry with each other, the silly things they did, and the caring and the joy they gave us. The fourth candle is a light of love. Day by day, we cherish the special place in our hearts that will always be reserved for them. We are thankful for the gift their living brought to each of us. The final candle is a light of hope. It reminds us of the love and memories of them that they are forever ours. May the glow of the flame be our source of hopefulness now and forever. Hear these words from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. 
he restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Affirmation for Those Who Have Lost, written by James Miller. I believe there is no denying it. It hurts to lose. It hurts to lose a cherished relationship with another or a significant part of one's own self. It can hurt to lose that which has united one with the past with that which has beckoned one into the future. It's painful to feel diminished or abandoned, to be left behind or left alone. Yet I believe there is more to losing than just the hurt and the pain. For there are other experiences that loss can call forth. I believe that courage often appears, however quietly it is expressed, however easily it goes unnoticed by others. The courage to be strong enough to surrender, the fortitude to be flexible enough to surrender. I believe a time of loss can be a time of learning unlike any other time, and that it can teach some of life's most valuable lessons. In the act of losing, there is something to be found. In the act of letting go, there is something to be grasped. In the act of saying goodbye, there is a hello to be heard. Living with loss is about beginnings as well as endings. And grieving is a matter of life more than death. And growing is a matter of mind and heart and soul more than of body. And loving is a matter of eternity more than of time. Finally, I believe in the promising paradoxes of loss. In the midst of darkness, there can come great light, and at the bottom of despair, there can appear a great hope. And deep within loneliness, there can dwell a great love. I believe these things because others have shown the way. Others who have lost and have grown through their losing, others who have suffered and then found new meaning. Know that you are not alone, for we are all one family. And if you are born into this life, it is mandatory that we have to leave. And so we are always losing. But in our loss, what we can learn that most powerful lesson that we are mortal and that the Lord has promised that all who mourn, they shall be comforted. He also says that there will come a time when death will be no more, pain will be no more, sickness will be no more, Death will be no more, for the former things are passing away. Remember, my friends, our human family, 
that we are one. And we here at Grandview Hospice, we love you. And we are available to you should you need additional support. And now, to the one who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's majesty, power, authority, and glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and his peace be with you. Amen.